Had another Great North weekend of sports, culminating, of course, in another magnificent Great North run, Simon. Another cracker, yeah, and it was a record breaker as well. From magnificent Mo to the magnificent masses, the 38th Great North run was proof that the region's premier sporting event never gets old, never gets tired, and just keeps on getting bigger and better. The records tumbled in South Tyneside. It was five in a row for Farah. The marvellous Sir Mo became the first man to win a handful of Great North runs. David Weir set a new course record to win the men's wheelchair race for the seventh time. And there were more than 43,600 finishers, making 2018 the biggest ever Great North run. Every single one of them was incredible for the day. Every single one had a story to tell. We told you a few amazing Great North stories last week, and the good news is they all had a happy ending. Siobhan Etherington suffered multiple miscarriages before she had her two sons. She ran yesterday for the charity Kicks Count, who support women through pregnancy. I was in a wheelchair from 14 weeks with Seb, and I forget from what age with Harrison, but right up until a couple months past their, their births. Um, and it then took me a long, long time to even learn to properly walk again, let alone run. So it was 18 months ago I was in a wheelchair, and yesterday I ran 13.1 miles for kicks count. Amazing. <laughs> There was Claire Baxter from Harrogate. The death of her mother inspired her to get fit. She lost eight and a half stone. Now she's got a great North Run medal. We met Shaquille Hussein. Running helped him cope when his daughter was seriously ill and now he's using the sport to raise money for others. Shaquille, congratulations. Thank you. How did it feel crossing the finish line? It felt, um, I felt relieved yesterday crossing um, the finish line yesterday. Um, it was very, very tough. Um, it was my fifth Great North run, uh, but by, I think by, by 100 miles, it was, it was the hardest one I did yesterday. Then there was Caroline Curry and Lisa Rutherford, the mothers of Liam and Chloe, the South Shields teenagers killed in last year's terror attack in Manchester. They were raising money for the charitable trust they've set up in their children's names. The people along the way have just been phenomenal. They're, they're just... They've shouted my names all the way and the money we've raised today I'm sure is just going to help so many people. So we we'll thank everybody for that. What is it your aim was today? Not just about raising money but I suppose it was about inspiring other people, wasn't yeah. it? Make my kids proud. We've done that. We've done that. But also, you know, to make sure that, you know, people are seeing us out here and like me and Caroline talk a lot about the positivity from something so horrible. It's going to help so many people. Yeah. To complete the Great North Roll of Honour, Vivian Cheriot from Kenya won the women's race for the second time in three years. Her own magical moment. But this is always a day of a million magical moments, like marvellous Mo filming Mrs Mo as she crossed the finish line. Lady Tanya Farah ran a personal best. And once again, the Great North Run was, for thousands of people, the very best day of the year.